England legend. Hey, so how are you? Well, I'm let very me well. See. I can't do that because it's not. I can't do it with the guys. They start wondering what I'm doing. Are you excited about this? Pardon? Are you excited? Oh, absolutely awesome. Are you, hang on. You're interviewing me now. All this TV work, and now you're asking me the questions. Go on, turn it on its head. So I'm delighted to be here, Issa. Thanks for asking. Yeah, and. Uh, so uh, <laughs> fantastic! Listen, it's a great turnout. Uh, we've got this unique carpet in front of oh, us it's lovely. in Leicester oh, Square. Gorgeous. Cricket, film, music, I've, all come together. I've, I've never actually walked the uh, the red carpet before, but green, yellow, and red is even better. Well, that's you zigzagging. I presume you're just <laughs> trying to make sure you get your foot on each part of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, the film itself obviously talks about the West Indies 1970s, yeah. and as a as a young person playing cricket growing up, what are your memories of, of those times? Was the 70s an inspirational? Bit before your time, I know that, it but was. Uh, it was before but the my players. Time. But actually, one of my heroes is Malcolm Marshall um, because you know he's quite a short guy. I can really resonate with that, and he you know bowled the ball really quickly. Used to get the ball to swing away and in, and that's something that I tried to aspire to do growing up. Um, but just to be able to see the likes of Michael Holding, Colin Croft, Joel Garner, such an inspirational team. I'm I'm quite sad that Sir Viv isn't here, but you know another great of, of his time, and I'm just really excited about the whole film and the fact that you know people who don't necessarily watch cricket will come and watch this. It does bring people together, as you say, the non-cricket watching fans, if you like, because of the film, it is a good film in its sense. What are you expecting to take away from the film? Um, inspiration. I think that's the key to it all. Um, I just spoke to someone just now saying that if you're from an ethnic minority, you leave this film feeling very inspired to, to go on to break down barriers and that sort of thing. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. Well, listen, there's a cue to going in. Let's enjoy yeah, the film no. and uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you later. Thanks, um, you. Do you know much about the film? Have you seen it yet? Uh, no, I haven't seen it yet. I'm absolutely thrilled. I was listening earlier to um, Michael Holding talking about having previously seen it about three or four times. And I'm thinking, wow, this is the first I've heard of it. But, you know, we're talking about such a fantastic period of cricket. And uh, perhaps it's a little bit like, can you imagine being part of a team that, uh, a, 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 a national team that just keeps winning and wins test matches back to back for 15 years straight. I mean, that's just phenomenal, isn't it? And of course, where they came from, which was being beaten up, if you like, in 75 in Australia, fought fire with fire. Clive Law said, I'm not having this. I'm going to have four fast bowlers. Absolutely. When you play your cricket, batsman bowler? Um, a bit of a bowler, really. I think I play, uh, I bat like the West Indies bat now. Go out there and say, if it's not a six, I'm not running. <laughs> hey, listen, thank you very much. Enjoy the evening, all right? Thank Thanks you, again. Cheers. Ebony, how are you? Good to see you. I'm good. How are you? I'm oh, very good. Now, listen, look at this red carpet. Do you want to walk up and do it again? I miss cool. Oh, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. How are you? I'm very well. Well, listen, this is an amazing evening tonight. We've just seen a lot of the West Indian cricket legends going in, English cricketing. Aspiring legend? Yeah. Absolutely right. <laughs> On a red, gold and green carpet in Leicester Square, a film about cricket. Who'd have thought? I know, I think it's amazing. I mean, I've only found out about the film in the last um, few weeks. I'm so excited. I mean, when you love cricket, you love all the West Indian legends. You know, when I first grew up, started to get into cricket, that's all I ever heard about. So I'm so excited to see it. Some of my heroes are here. So it's just amazing, really. It also tells a great story of the 75 time when they were, had a really tough time in Australia and they came back from that and the team united through the sport and through the fact they were sort of, uh, they were really struggling. That's something that cricket can offer a lot of people, isn't it? An opportunity to be part of a team and to, and to achieve. Definitely. I mean, being part of a team is, you know, one of the most important things in the good times and the bad times. So for me, it'll be inspiring just to see how they overcame it um, and how they, you know, implemented that into their career. So I'm so excited to see what's going to happen. Well, apart from attending premieres, how's the uh, summer shaping up for you? Summer's shaping up good, actually. I've scored a few runs so far. So I've played five games. Uh, I've scored 100 yesterday of 61. So Congratulations. Thank you. I'm quite happy. So, yeah, I'm shaping up well. So we'll see what happens with the England stuff in the summer. And if not the summer, then hopefully for the next tour after that. So. Brilliant. Well, listen, have a great evening tonight it's going to be a brilliant occasion and we'll look forward to catching you later in the year thank thanks Ebony thank, thank you, you. <laughs> thanks it's a joy tonight all right have a great night Chris it's a red carpet for cricket it doesn't happen very often does it <laughs> no no not really red yellow and green it's a it's a strange one but um no uh, listen uh, you know more power to their elbow I think uh, whoever's put this on the Goldsmith family have been fantastic in in uh, funding it and putting it on and I'm sure it'll be a great film I haven't seen it can't wait to see it not many films about sport that really give a sort of a true idea so what are you sort of expecting to see this evening uh, as, as maybe some some old memories but uh, 
from well, some of your days facing the quickest in the world. I gather that there are going to be some old memories, yes. So, uh, so I've got my hands ready to block the eyes, you know, just to, to that brings back bad memories. But no, I mean, it was a pleasure to play against them. They were a fantastic team in the 80s. Uh, one of the best that's ever been. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching the film. They say that uh, bowling quick is, all, is sort of an art and a lot of strength and spill, uh, skill, should I say. Opening the batting against these guys, knowing when you're walking out 50 yards to the wicket, knowing that they're just pacing, pacing, ready to run in. What's running through your mind? Uh, getting off the mark, somehow, uh, and trying to chat to someone. There wasn't very often a chance to chat to someone, but um, no, I mean, it's, it, it's about making decisions quickly as the ball's coming down very quickly and, and hoping that luck is on your side as well. Quick word on Stuart then, captain of the 2020 team. That's a, a proud day for you. Yeah, and, and he's he's loving every moment of it. You know, he's uh, he's a fine cricketer. He's someone who enjoys playing cricket, and I think it shows in his performances. So let's fingers crossed it goes well for for the team. Fingers crossed for, crossed for tonight as well. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Thanks.